All right, guys, let's talk about Cowboy Bebop. I know you watched it. I watched some of it. Um, I usually don't watch anime adaptations. I mean, live action adaptations of animes. But, you know, I decided to go for it. You know, I saw the trailer and I was like, you know what? This, this looks better than what I've seen before. You know, Dragon Ball Evolution and all that stuff. So I was like... Let me try it. It looks interesting enough. So I went for it. I, I turned on the the first episode and I was surprised to see that they took the original music. I really like that. I don't think Cowboy Bebop can be anything else without that jazzy soundtrack. Uh, if you lit, if you hear it, you'll know that's Cowboy Bebop because the music was so good, so original in anime at that time that it you just had to have it so props for that props for recreating the environment um it really felt like you were in that world whatever it was mars or the spaceship or flying through space they really put a lot of money in the background and the effects so uh props for that you know uh usually when you watch some sort of Adap live action adaptation of an anime you feel like it's some sort of cheap sci-fi movie <laughs> but not not Netflix they they spend money on it so I want to give them props for that uh, I'm, I'm happy about that uh, props for them on the costumes they really try to recreate the costumes as much as they could I mean for for Jet Black I felt like they did a great job for Spike I think the costume was recreated well enough now you know we live in this equality wokeish era so i can understand why Faye didn't have the same custom and i'm okay with that you know we don't need to see things bouncing around throughout the movie that's fine that's fine i'm okay with that i'm a family guy now so i can't be watching that in front of my family you know i'm okay with that i know you're not it's fine anyway uh, what else was good? I, I'm trying to start with the good because um, I don't want to be too negative about it because I had low expectations, so it's not like it's not like I'm mad about it, you know. Uh, props to the actors who played in the Cowboy Bebop live action, um, especially Jet Black. I think his name is Mustafa Shakir, something like that. I think he did a great job in creating the character for Jet Black. He did the voice well. I mean, at least the English voice I remember from the anime, it, I think it matched. And just the personality, I think that was the best character of the whole series that really felt like the anime character. So props to the writers too for not changing that, that character so much because the other characters were way different from what I remember from the anime. I mean, Spike seem like the I don't know like the Looney Tune version of the original character you take all the coolness out of Spike and then make him silly looking and and and, and that's what you have so I'm disappointed in the writing of those characters not so much in the actor I think the actor did his job as well as he could um, whoever was in charge of costumes I felt like they could have done something to make him look taller because I feel like his character in anime was taller. So perhaps cameras could work on the angles, maybe use some platform shoes. The vest maybe was too long that made him look shorter. So um, I wish they could have worked on that to, to make him look taller. I just feel like Spike in the series was kind of taller. I don't know. Perhaps I'm wrong. Perhaps I'm wrong. Whatever. Don't want to say too much because I don't want people getting mad, you know. So I want to respect the actors for doing the best they can. Uh, hair and makeup. I don't think Spike's hair translated well with the way they went. But at the same time, I cannot give you a better idea what they could have done. I don't know if some sort of afro could have worked better. Some so you know, I, I don't know. I don't know what could have been better, but the hair that Spike had, it seemed kind of weird. That's how I'm going to say about that. Uh, I did say Faye, as far as the character, didn't feel like the original. It was like a different 
completely different person, but I really like her charisma, her jokes, the way that she was written. I really liked her. I think she was entertaining enough. Uh, what I don't really like is that they decided to, I don't know if they thought that maybe Faye wasn't a complete character or she didn't have enough to make it entertaining. So they decided to add this aspect of her, her exploring her sexuality with another woman. I didn't think that was necessary for the series. So I'm kind of disappointed that they went in that direction. Uh, you guys know there's, there's a scene where she's with another woman in the spaceship and I'm like, dude, my kids are running around. My wife's cooking something. I can't have this on. I got forwarded. And then I think there's another part where they have, like, you know, those magazines and they're throwing at each other, Spike and and Faye. And I'm like, I don't know if this happened in the anime. I watched the Adult Swim version. And even though it's called Adult Swim, Cartoon Network does edit a bunch of stuff. So I don't know if perhaps all that stuff was in the original series and I just never got to see it. Perhaps. I just felt like Cowboy Bebop was a little bit more family friendly in the whole body aspect. That's those, those are some of my complaints personally, but uh, I don't know why the writers or whoever wrote the story took so much liberty in changing the characters like that. Uh, Vicious was just annoying. I didn't like him. Vicious, I felt like he was somewhat cool in the series. And now he was just a silly guy who who wasn't interesting. The same thing for the girl that um oh man I'm gonna sneeze. <sighs> you know that girl that Spike and Vicious like. I didn't think she was interesting. I, I feel like in the anime she was kind of mysterious. You want to know more about her, and in the in the live actions they just I didn't like her. It wasn't interesting. So, I mean, overall, I didn't finish the series. I stopped around episode five, six. Once I started getting too, too caliente, I was like, okay, this is not for me. I'm a family guy right now, so I can't be watching that in the living room. You probably are young and have your own room, and you can watch whatever you want. I can't. And to tell you that, I'm expecting Cowboy Bebop. I'm not expecting something else, so that's why I was disappointed. But, um... Overall, I think it's an improvement on what where live action adaptation should go towards too. Because I really like that the the world was done well enough. You felt like you were there. The the um, overall the the costumes were done well. The music was done well. So we're advancing into uh, a better hope for live actions. Uh, but there's still a lot of work to do. Uh, I'm not very excited about the One Piece live action adaptation, but I mean, I, lo I know there's a lot of fans that are hoping it will be. You guys tell me, what did you think of Cowboy Bebop? Do you have a lot of hope for One Piece? You tell me. I want to hear it on the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.